we're going to jump up into our first interview for the day, uh, where we will be speaking to Pumla Brook. Uh, she also brought uh, another chef with her, um, Chef La Bamboo. Um, and we will find out more about that. So, uh, like I mentioned earlier, she is a qualified actor turned self taught chef, um, turned cookbook author. Author, sorry, being previously on the show about four years ago, um, Pumla is back to share her journey and tell us more about what she has been up to since then. On the 24th of September, Heritage Day 2022, um, she'll be launching her latest cookbook called The Rainbow Nation Cookery Guide. Ah, oh, that sounds like, ah, oh, she's in Syria, ah, oh, no, like she, just, she just comes in with that aura of amazingness, like the smile. You should see the smile that I'm seeing. I'm, I'm loving the smile. I'm loving the smile. Hello, Puma. Hello, hello, oh, hello. How are you doing? <laughs> no, 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 I, I got it just as you're sitting down. <laughs> uh, just, so, so. I'm still finding my spot. <laughs> Don't worry, don't worry. You here, good. you are here, you are here. Ah, so I done, I done a little bit of a description, um, but I like it, you know, when it comes straight from the person, so you can actually really get because you, you don't know if the information might have changed over the years. Um, I guess that's why you're back, eh? Yes. Uh, to get some more information. I need to update. Ah, ah, you you can't be the, held in the past. Yeah, this, this is the updated version. Yes. <laughs> ah, so, like I said, um, we have Pumla Brook in studios, and she brought Chef. La Bambu, am I saying it correctly? La Bumbu. La Bumbu, yes. oh La Bumbu. <laughs> uh, I must, I must call out some people um, giving wrong names here. <laughs> <laughs> How are you doing? Good things, how are you? I'm Robert? awesome, I'm yeah. awesome. You're yeah. even you, big smiles, big smiles. I'm loving it, I <laughs> am loving it. So Puma, let's just give a little bit of an introduction of who you are and what you do. Well, my name is Pumla from Pumla's Food. Pumla Food. Pumla and food are inseparable. That's mm. all you need to know. <laughs> 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 well, I'm the middle child, if I may. Um, I'm a middle child, grew up on a farm back in the Eastern Cape, a small town called Uton Hague. Um, I used to live here in Cape Town <laughs> until just before COVID. Then oh. I decided, hmm, pandemic, maybe I should go back to my family, to my roots. <laughs> So, yeah, so I do food. I'm an actor by profession. Mm. Um, yeah, actor, tent, author, tent, a lot of things. Oh, Self published. I'm an actor by profession. Oh, wow. Now, you know, you see why I have to bring see, you to these things. This is why. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because we want to pass it over mm. to the young ones. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so, so yeah, that's the basically they have an yeah. acting background. Okay. Yeah, acting background, tend cook, uh, you know, you tend um, self, of course, self taught chef, and then self published. Oh, self taught? Yes, self taught, yes, mm. self taught, why not? I mean, why did I go to school? How did, how did, how did that come about? Like, how did you realize, like, that is what I want to do? Well, I grew up from a family of cooks. Mm. Yeah. So cooking has always been a part of me. Well, that's why I say, yeah. you know, food and Pumla, it's inseparable. You can't. Like I said. It's a, it's a package deal. Yeah. It's a package deal. Huh? <laughs> so, Bumbu. I'm getting a yeah. correct. You see, I got it. Yeah, yeah I only make mistakes once. Only make mistakes once. I'm perfect. <laughs> 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 right. Just give us a little bit of introduction of yourself. Listen, Bumbu, as you can see, is a chubby guy. Mm. Right, so Bumbu comes from Bumba. Actually, that's what they what we call each other. So they used to tease me a lot when I was growing up. I mean, uh, so my slogan goes like this: Never trust a skinny chef, right? So never trusting a, a skinny chef compliments Bumba, mm. a fat guy, a chubby guy. Mm. You get me. So we love food and all of that. <laughs> <laughs> you get me. So yeah, so Chef La Bumbu. Is uh, Shiluva obviously uh, a guy that uh, was taught how to cook by his grandmother? Mm. My grandmother raised me uh, to be the man I am today, together with my family. Similar to uh, my sister here, Pumla, we had great cooks at home, even today. Family? No, not family. Oh, friends. Yes, oh, he's yeah. my little brother <laughs> from another mother. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, basically that's who Chef Labumbu is. Yeah, and uh, my career actually started in 
2018 mm. uh, and I hosted an all white. It was actually a, 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 a cookout, right? So the next year, I found out that the very same place that I was hosting my uh, cookout in became my restaurant. Oh, nice. And then, because of COVID, unfortunately, I closed. <laughs> oh, COVID, yes. COVID. COVID messed it up for a lot of us. Eh? Yeah. But it's, it's nice now. We're back on our feet and we keep on moving. Eh? We don't, as South Africans, we don't let nothing bring us down. <laughs> yeah, uh, we, we, keep, we keep moving forward. Yeah. So I would like to know, um, did the acting or the cooking come first? Hmm. <laughs> The uh, <laughs> cooking came first. This cooking came first. Cooking came first. However, being a big family on the farm, um, I think acting was always a part of me because I remember you are on the farm. You don't have a lot of neighbors where you don't have neighbors except um, some squirrels and uh, some rabbits and stuff from the bush. <laughs> <laughs> so, so you know, we were compelled to entertain ourselves. There was no TV at that time. Okay, now I'm giving my age away, but okay. <laughs> You know, there was no internet or stuff like that. So we had to entertain. And by entertaining ourselves, our my siblings, being mm. a middle child, family of seven siblings, um, we would play sketches, you know. I would write a play. Can you believe it? I was like seven or something. Okay. And I would be the director. I would direct everyone. Okay, this is what you do. The, no, don't say, don't say it like that. Show the emotion. How can you cry without tears? <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you could say that. Yeah, acting was already a part of me. So it was a no-brainer when I came to high school, yeah, towards matric. I already knew mm. in matric as well. I was also acting, you know. I remember once our English teacher wrote um, a play and he said, what I know for sure, I want you in my play, but you don't have a character yet. How flattering is that? <laughs> yeah. Oh, they can play something okay. specific you know, yeah. for you. Yeah, because yeah. I guess uh, yeah, it came. I mean, acting is life. We all acting mm -hmm. at the end of the day, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah. It's so, so true, eh? So, yeah, so, so cooking came first. So, so cooking came first. Yes. Uh, so, with, with the TV cooking, eh? Um, can you explain that to me? The whole um, TV cooking situation. The whole cooking TV, I lived in Joburg before I lived here after Varsity and it's, I always had an affirmation that with people's help or mm. without, I'm going to be on TV. So that was one of my, you know, affirmations. Then um, a few years later, I moved to Cape Town, uh, pursued acting. Now I have the qualification, but I hadn't been working for a while. Uh, but I thought, you know what? doesn't matter mm. i'll still pursue you know i'll still pursue it anyway um uh, i think i lost my tail of thought what was the question again <laughs> the cook <laughs> the tv cooking it's, TV cooking. it's yeah. a tv cooking yeah so cape town is where the tv happened mm. even though i had uh, pursued auditions a bit in Joburg, but uh, cape town is where it started i met um, so there's a lot of cooking I did, but I'm going to talk to date. Mm. Yeah, so the Afternoon Express. After I wrote my first uh, cookbook, Pumla's Food Family Style, um, Hustler's Way, True Hustler's Way, because I'm not trained or anything. I don't have any bookshop, you know, backing mm. me up. I kept my books, you know, a few copies in my handbag and in my in my car trunk. So I met a chef from Afternoon Express whom I liked. Mm. I used to watch on TV in Somerset West at the mall doing shopping and uh, he loved. We spoke and before you know it, the conversation turned to food naturally. <laughs> so he liked my hustle. I showed him my book and he was impressed, you know, that I'm pushing, you know, my product. Only like a true passionate cook could mm. do that. Then he invited me to the Afternoon Express and the rest is history. Yeah. Wow. And have you been like cooking on TV ever since? Um, well, that's only to date. Before that, mm. I had done because of the acting. Mm. You know, I had an, well, I still have an agency here in Cape Town. Shout out to Stephen from <laughs> <laughs> Blue Star. Hello. <laughs> yeah. don't, say I di don't say I didn't bring you with me to high places. <laughs> so, um, so, so yeah, so I joined um, an agent uh, when I came, when I moved from Joburg to Cape Town. Mm. And through the agency, um, I would get gigs, commercials and stuff, including a cooking show, Speco. I've once uh, presented the cooking show called Cooking with Speco, mm. Family Table. 
hyphen mm-hmm. her, yeah, family table. So I've done also a bit of um, competition like reality TV. Okay. Yeah, KFC at some point uh, was looking for, you know, a side dish to this came out all wrong. I didn't mean it that way. <laughs> I mean a side <laughs> dish for a meal as mm. part of a meal mm. of the KFC regular. So, you know, they felt like their menu was lacking in mm. side dishes. Here we go again. <laughs> so uh, what happened is, um, you know, there were interviews. I interviewed and, you know, I got I got in. We were cooking in pairs. Mm. Yeah, so your partner's downfall is your down. You know, mm. a, got kicked Teamwork. out. The very first um, episode, we got kicked out. Sure. I don't know how. But by some miracle, we found our way back in uh, because one couple had to leave. Mm. Um, so fortunately now, so w- not the whole couple, one partner mm-hmm. of, from the couple had to leave. So the single now one had to choose a new person. And my partner didn't want to go back into the show. Oh, so it's win-win. Yes. So, but now that guy had to choose. It was a long uh, process, but he chose me. So, you know, mm. you had to market yourself. Yes. And I mean, as far as marketing, duh. <laughs> so I found myself back in. Oh, nice. Yes, that's how the other TV. Then there's other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But we can talk if we have the time. Ah, I have, I have the time. The whole I day, have, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, like those are like mm. major. Some of yeah, some of the of the mm. major. Mm. The funny thing, you know, with um, the acting as well. Uh, whether knowingly or not, I don't know. For some reason, with some of the commercials I've done, I end up in the kitchen. <laughs> like I end up, I remember I did shop right. Uh, change, change, change. Uh, that's not the board, but <laughs> I did, you know, I did, uh, you know, an advert mm. and I ended up at the bakery. Then following that, there was a competitor to that same company. Um, I was casted there and I ended up exactly at the same place. <laughs> you know, somehow the kitchen seems to, yes, you know, seems to, to yeah, yeah. Mm. So, which is nice. Mm. I mean, that's how you know you're really meant for something. Mm. Yeah. As long as you're loving it. Yes, I'm <laughs> loving it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so Shifla Bumbu. Yeah, yeah, man. Man. yeah I, f- man. I feel like if, if I ever say it wrong again, I've been <laughs> <laughs> now you'll get used to it, don't worry. You'll get used so to it. So you've, you've worked alongside Bumbu. Yeah, yeah. yeah. How, how like how's that? Oh, this is this. It's I'm I'm blessed. I've mm. I've found a sister. I found a sister in her because, uh, well, I'm from Lutrichard, right? Mm. Uh, in a call in a place called Waterfall, right? So, growing up there, uh, I was surrounded by women. Mm. Obviously, the smile on his face. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there was one sister. Her name is Taki. Mm. I love her to bits. Um, so she, she, she actually polished my cooking. From she took it from my grandmother, then polished my, my cooking. So I used to talk about everything, literally everything with her. She's she's way older than me, mm. like Pumla, right? Yeah. So on my first my first time on uh, Afternoon Express, we had a cook along with Pumla, and uh, that's where I met this big sister of mine, and from there we became best friends. Best friend, yeah, the brother and sister. Yeah. Uh, that explains the matching smile. Like I'm still yeah. stuck. It's not every time people come in and they have that like ah, it's that energy. glow. Yeah. 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 I can say our energies are very in sync. It's, yeah. it's like our, our our one presenter on the morning cruise. Um, apparently four years ago you were on the I show. I was on the morning cruise. Yes, yes. and his his favorite saying at the end of the show is the energy that you put out is the energy. That you receive that's true yeah. and i'm loving the, the positive true. energy just yeah, yeah. so <laughs> tell us uh, more about the diversity of the book mm. so um the concept of the mm. rainbow nation uh, cookery guide is it is a guide uh, for those who want to learn or who want to explore it came um about because it was always uh, bothering me, you know, the type of uh, content when it comes to food, the type of content that's out there. Uh, First, I felt like South Africa, just as a country, is not really represented on the global stage. Um, So how do you change that? I mean, you can whine, but you can also do something. Mm -hmm. So what I've been blessed with, amongst other things, is food, you know, the knowledge of food. 
Yes, I've written cookbooks of my own, but the dream was it would be nice, you know, one day to do something that will unify the different cuisines of South Africa, mm -hmm. you know, all the different cultures, and also to represent where our democracy is right now, right? Because things, um, since like almost 20 years ago now, things have really, you know, changed. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, I felt like it would be nice to put my country with its people in my field um, where we share uh, our passion, our recipes with the intention of making sure that our different cultures do not fade, you know, the dishes themselves don't fade mm. and, and just to say we were here, you know, we were on this earth and for our kids as well, you know, to learn not only people from other countries, but our kids to leave a legacy for mm. them, um, culture, because the book is more than just a cookbook. Mm. You will see um, on the book, there's also artifacts, you know, um, that they used to use, kitchen equipment they used to use, you know, in the past, mm. how dishes have evolved, <coughs> how um, a grain can, um, it's a piece of history, let's put it that way. Mm. It's not just another cookbook, it's a piece of history. A grain, for example, like corn from the fresh state, where it's sweet to, or maize, if I may differentiate, because mm. like sweet corn is more sweeter than maize, is mm. less sweeter. Maize from a fresh uh, state where you eat it off the cob, to the second stage where you like dry it. We, we cook that, for example, in the closer culture and I'm sure in other uh, cultures um, with beans and make isopi, a recipe you can expect, you know, simple recipes mm. you can expect uh, in the book uh, to a second stage of uh, crushed corn, you know, or maize where it's called umgusho. Um, another recipe, you know, that's there um, as well. And by the way, a recipe, the former president, Nelson Mandela, um, the recipe, type of recipe that that was one of his favorite, favorite things to eat. That on its own, mm. you know, it's something our kids, you know, just um, to, to bring them closer, mm. you know, uh, uh, to the president because he's no, he's no more. So it's that type of the book. It's how it came about wanting to make, you know, a difference by bringing our diverse cultures, you know, into one, getting to learn about each other and what a way to learn through food, mm. right? Mm, yeah, I was just like, because this, this, this really does sound like a field guide to all the food you can get. Because yeah. it's telling you what to do and when it's ready. And yeah, like, I, you know, I said like before the interview started, I was like, I hope I don't get hungry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> during, and I must say, <laughs> <laughs> my stomach is letting me know a, a few things here. Yeah. <laughs> um, so what were some of the challenges that you faced um, with creating the book? I am so happy you asked that question. <laughs> oh my God. And he knows what's coming. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> he knows what's coming. Because now there is no more a computer or a, a phone device to hide mm. behind. Because he is one of Chef Labombo here. Mm. He's one of the challenges. <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to chefs. Ice. Yeah. He can answer for himself, like, really. <laughs> but if I made to zone it down to just, um, let's say, one huge challenge, really, the administration of working. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on to that. <laughs> so the challenge really was um, the administration that mm. comes with being a project manager, because now I, you know, things moved from being just the author, you know, who's collecting uh, and compiling a book, collecting recipes from different <laughs> chefs. Mm. It moved to project managing yeah. and things got real. And as a creative, I'm sure other creatives, um, I mean, I'm an artist, you know, mm. through and through. Um, yeah, I'm fine in my kitchen developing recipes, dotting things down and, and that and speaking about it as an actor because the stage, you mm. know, is, is my thing. Mm. Uh, but project managing, hell no. <laughs> but that was, you know, that was a challenge. It continues to be, you know, it continues uh, yeah. to be. And I have to mention, um, Usually we are we are inspired by money, mm. right? So there were things. If I may be brutally honest, there were days where I felt like, wow, um, all these challenges, the world will never really get to understand yeah. the amount of uh, time, effort. Um, 
elbow grease because it's a cookbook. You know, you have to like literally cook and the amount of challenges that come with giving because the main objective of the book, uh, maybe you are coming to the question, I don't know, but the main objective of the book, it's a poverty relief project. Yeah. So amongst other things, I'm a Rotarian. So I'm a humanita humanitarian. Mm. Um, not only because of Rotary, that's how I got to Rotary, because in my own capacity, you know, I have um, unregistered uh, um, NPO. Mm -hmm. So I feed, um, you know, men in street corners, something I started a while back, uh, almost seven years ago. I give them soup during winter or curry and rice, that kind of stuff. So I'm, I've always been giving in different ways. Mm -hmm. So um, this book is, you know, progressed from there. So from Rotary, we progressed from there. So it's also very challenging. Um, you know, to try to run your own business on this side. On this side, you want, uh, you know, to also bring other people with you because giving is about that. You don't want others to feel like nobody cares, you know, about about them. It mm. affects you, what happens, you know, to what you see in the world. Mm. Um, the time, now the time is not always enough <laughs> to fulfill all those. And that is a challenging. It's not, mm. you know, the time is not always on your side mm, yeah. to do it. Because if you are to be realistic, even if you are a humanitarian, you have to be able to fend for yourself first. Yeah. Now there's that struggle, there's business on this side. I need to eat first before I can be, you know, that giving person now. But now I've got a project with deadlines and stuff because you can't write and do a project forever. So how do I now split the time? Mm. Sure. Yeah. You're keeping yourself busy on all ends, eh? like <laughs> yeah. ah. Uh, so just before, before you know, I, because I, I see, speaking of time, the time has gotten up to us, eh? Yeah, um, yeah. So in the next five minutes, we will be heading towards um, the full news bulletin. But just before I let you go, um, where can people, you know, I still likely stalk you, uh, mm -hmm. and you not know, keep up to date with what you're doing or, or wherever they can get whatever it is you're releasing. If it's another book, maybe. <laughs> Knows, never know, maybe, never know, never maybe know. Chef Pumla in La Bumpo. Huh? Oh, <laughs> never know. Yeah. Ah, see, they already the plans is out there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, the first the book itself. Mm. Sorry, the Rainbow Nation Cookery Guide. People can get it from Take A Lot. Mm. Um, and if maybe you are ov overseas, get it from Amazon, UK dip the Depository, different platforms. Just go to the Rainbow Nation Cooking like page now or rather website if mm. you go to the website it's going to direct you to take a lot if that's one that's what you want or it will direct you to you know the other platforms where you can purchase it and sure. as far as my handles i use the same handle at pumla's food one word no h p u m l a s food one word both on Instagram and on Facebook. Mm, I will be good checking that out because y'all have really made me very hungry. Uh, <laughs> La <Bumbu? laughs> Yes, sir. Uh, we can the people keep up to date with what you have. Oh, listen, going. Uh, for me, it's, it's very much simple. Just go on Instagram, chef underscore Labumbu. Like L A B U M B U. That's not La Bamba. La Bamba. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you catch me there. Yeah, that's the only platform that you can ah, get a hold of me. Thank you, Pumla Brook, the Chef La Bumbu. Yeah. Thank you very much for giving us your time and sharing with us. Thank you for making me angry. <laughs> uh, but thankfully, the I news. I owe you one, that's for <laughs> sure. <laughs> but thankfully, the news will be coming now, so I can, you know, just quickly dip away and go to the kitchen and make make me a nice. Do you sandwich. even have a kitchen here? Oh, yes, yeah. the kitchen is there. <laughs> thank yeah. you so oh, much. Yes, we are prepared. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. It's go. such a pleasure coming back. Ah, uh, this obviously this is not the last time. Hopefully, yeah, no, 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 that's no, no, not hopefully, no, no, <laughs> definitely, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> definitely. This is not the last time we will be having you all back again. Yeah, um, please don't let us wait another four years. Mm. Yeah, true, true, yeah. true. true. Right. Yeah, we yes, we have to. We are, yes. we have to Maybe we'll people. bring in some food next time. Oh, we be, I did bring food, by the way. Is just it? yeah, just to redeem myself. Okay, okay. Ten points, ten points for Ten points. There we go. So, so now, so now we know. Uh, 
um, Chef Labumbu. Yeah. We will be expecting Give your cooking. Up. Yeah. <laughs> and I thank you very much. Go and have an awesome day further. Yeah, Please right. be safe out there. Thank, thank you, you so much. much. You. And to your viewers as well. Ah. It's still one of those places, you know, that feels like home. <laughs> to be Always. Here.